Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the data quality session. And today the topic which we are going to cover is router transformation. Okay. So before beginning with the practical, let us let us understand what is a router transformation. Okay. So router transformation is a transformation which is an active transformation. Okay. Uh, I believe we are already clear what is an active transformation. If not, please see my topic lecture topic on active and passive transformation okay and so the transformation route transformation is an active transformation okay and the second uh, point of router transformation is that it is used to route the data to the multiple targets that means in case of router transformation i will be having one source file and i will be having multiple target files okay so one source file data will be sent to the multiple target files with the help of router transformation based on a condition okay and now i believe we are clear about what is transfer transformation as we have already done this topic in the data integration okay now let's begin with the practical how we can do that so I just open my folder and this is my folder. I'll just go to my data. I'll just open my data once to see what kind of data it carries. So data viewer and then run. You can see this is the data in my router transformation, uh, the source file of my router transformation. So this is the data which I'm going to use. Okay. Now uh, on this data, I'm going to apply a condition. The condition is that all the data of department is equals to CSC will go in one file and all the data whose department is not equals to CSC that will go in the second target file. So I'm going to have two target files here. First target file which contain, will contain the data of the employees belonging to department as CSC. In the other target file, it will contain all the employees whose department is not equals to CSC. So all other department people, their data will go into the second target file. So let's begin this practical. So it's a transformation for this. I need to create a mapping, right click my folder, new, and then your mapping. Okay, I give a name to my mapping. I say router underscore mapping and I finish. Okay, now I need to bring my source data into this. So EMP underscore data is my source data. I say bring it in the eat mode. Okay, so this is my source data. Okay, okay. Now, uh, since this the transformation is router, I need to use the type of the trans router transformation. What kind of do I can do is I can right click on the green screen. I can write add transformation and here you can write the router keyword. So router transformation, select this and OK. Done. OK. Now next step, connect your input ports from the source to the transformation by dragging and dropping. not connected properly so i'll just connect this back done okay so this is done now uh, i am going to configure my route transformation so for this i'm going to select my route transformation and go to its properties okay now for this i'll go to its groups Okay, now under group, I'm going to create the group, two groups of data. So two output groups. So one output group will be equals to department is equals to CSC and the other output group will be the default one. So for the group, I need to add a group here. Click on add and I need to mention the group name. So group underscore department underscore CSC. So this group is going to 
contain the data of all the employees who are having the department as CSE. Okay. And the second group, which is by default coming to us as the default group, it is going to contain all the data of all the employees whose department is not equals to CSE. So for CSE, for the department to be equals to CSE, I need to add a filter condition. So I'll just click on this group filter condition, which is by default true. I will click on this drop down and I'll click on this edit filter condition. Okay. Now I'll just remove this. Go to my posts from here. I'll click on department, double click on department is equals to that is CSE. Okay. Validate it. Okay. Okay. So department uh, for a department to be equals to CSE, I've already added my filter condition. This group will contain only the department. Uh, values which contain CAC as their value and default will contain the all the other employees. Now when I create this group you can see that in my in my router transformation by default two groups are added. So this is your input and uh, the, for the other two for if I just drag it scroll it down I have two groups to be added. One is your group department CAC which contains all the columns for the CAC department and the second group is the default group. Okay, so this is done. I'll just once save it. Okay, now next task is to bring your target file. So as I say, I'm having here two groups. So I'm going to have my two target files here. Okay, so I'll just one let's click on my uh, this PDO, right click new physical data object flat flat file create an empty flat file next next and finish okay so this is done let's let's just add the column names here uh, let's me first of all rename it data underscore department underscore CSA. Okay, so this is your name of the flat file. Let's just add the column now by adding on new ID again number, then your F name, L name. As your last name and then your Jan underscore salary Feb underscore salary your department your location and then in your Jan salary, we'll change the data type as number, Feb salary, change the data type as number. Okay. Now this is done. Let's configure the location. Go to advance, change the target directory. C colon informatica colon 10.1.1 server info underscore shared and then your tgt files and i mentioned my output file name here this is your csc underscore department dot txt okay let's uh, Let's just let's just save this. So it's saved. So my physical data object department underscore CS is created. I need one more source file. So for this, I'm not going to waste the time. I'll just copy this and again select this PDO paste. Okay, so copy is created. I'll just rename this. 
to others underscore department okay one change i'll make is that in this video i'll just go to advance and change the target file name so it is others underscore department dot txt and i'll just save this so two files are created csc and the others okay now i'll use them so go back to your mapping just save this also go back to your outer mapping bring this both the files in the right mode because we need to write them and then others to mapping others and back to your right mode okay it's there now connect all the ports of csc group with the with the file id and one thing is we need to show is when you drag and drop keep it on the id column only it's the others are not connected all are connected now for the default let's just select all connect back to your drag and drop to your id column so they are done okay now everything is fine just once run your run your this data viewer router data viewer let me just save it first i click run data viewer okay so this is the group for department csc and it is giving you the data of only csc when you have the for the default it is giving you the department of other values data of other values okay so it's perfectly working fine and i just right click and click on run mapping so mapping is successfully executed now let's go to the folder and check whether the file is created or not i'll just refresh it so you have csc underscore department which should contain csc data yes it is there and i'm having the other file other department which contains the data of the, the people belonging to the other department so this is your practical on route transformation if you have any kind of doubt do ask me i hope you have a good day thank you